Welcome to Hardcraft Stadium, birthplace of the Micro Hard Mutilators. Today's game brought to you by Micro Hard Crash and Burn Technologies. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Fricks, do you smell something burning? Uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porter, John, in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot one, hot two. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and two. to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Third down and five. First down and six. And the ball is let Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a grease turk. Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this rep likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. The first and low offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That yeah, is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. And that'll be second and eight to go. He 
was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Third down and six. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Man, he's dancing like a zonked-out jam band enthusiast. Well, that's how he spends his entire offseason. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? That kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? That's sort of this whole sp Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First and ten. Oh, and he laterals at the last second. Nifty move home at about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Welcome to the Groid Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double Roy burger, large one. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm cramp. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggle. And the whistle blows the play dead, along with the quarterback. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the 
And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. They're back up here on first down. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And he throws that one to the sidelines. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down in a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Seriously, now you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. warming up. Oh, and the lineman bats the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> if that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. The QB might as well just bury himself now because, oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Third down and, well, good luck. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First down and six. Second down and more than the QB would like. with the brain scrambler.
Third down and six. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is boom, dead and down. You delivered the freaky fast. Sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two. He took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ward and the Ant Smarmer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Bricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? Second down and a lot. It's two-yard run before he stopped. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Third down and nine. Picks up a new set of downs. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. Thank you, that mine. That's uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and got... That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds.
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mental? And he takes a time out here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And a hard run there picks up the first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, jeez, here it comes. Blah. Second down and ten. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Hot two, hot way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten hey. no receivers open so the QB just threw the ball away it's a close battle as the quarter ends halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries they make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Brick started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. First and ten. Look okay, out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Second down and six. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Snatches that one out of the air for a 
a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? They want more points, so they're going for two. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. Get out of ball screwed and stupid. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. to the races and that's how you run the football first down and it's first and ten and picks up maybe a deuce at most uh, speaking of deuces i gotta uh <clears throat> hey you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant he threatened me if i didn't tip him next time First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Third down and six. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. They're going for two points. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. And it's all fun and games until he tries break dancing. Yep, with scout fans, it's always more to let him out. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. That's the 
way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Point range. How do you like your brain? Scramble or fry. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. I, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Listen to his fans how with a teenage werewolf in the mutant farm league. I don't know if he's dancing. I just marked his territory. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and two. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Oh, and he laterals the ball to the play. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. It just slows the game down. And it's first and ten. Bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. First and eight to go. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever.
first and ten. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. And then to first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, eh? You kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. Third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. One in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Eight. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Hot. Eight. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. First and ten. We're at the two-minute mark in the second half. And it's first and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was a frayed cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 
One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grip. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's the quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Second down and long. done for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch you on eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. The Mutilators mutilated the opposition today and walk away with a win. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because well, they try really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.